When I was a little girl, I wanted to become president. <laughs> I had a t-shirt that said, uh, a woman's place is in the house, but it had a picture of the White House on it. In sixth grade, I had a teacher who, on the last day of school, had us write a letter to our 18-year-old selves and seal it in an envelope with a registration form to vote. I remember looking forward to it. I remember knowing it was up in my, cl up in my closet for, I guess, six or seven years waiting for me. Oh yeah, the first time I voted, oh my gosh. Um, I was an undergrad at the time. We could have done the mail-in ballot at that point, but all of us were like, no, we're gonna like, we're gonna go and do this, we're gonna vote. Me and all my friends and my my roommates, we all walked to the polling place together. We're like standing in line and the, like, turned to the guy behind me, I'm like, yeah, hey, we're gonna vote. And he's like, huh? And you know, we're just happy to be there. We all took a ton of pictures and posted them everywhere and uh, just couldn't wait to get our sticker. <laughs> I wore that I voted sticker, I think for like three days until it finally fell off. People were like, we get it. I very clearly remember the first time I voted because my mom was running for city council in Boulder. And so the first time I got to vote was actually for my mom, which was one of the coolest things that's ever happened in my life. Uh, she won, so that was pretty cool. Going in the archives here to go into had to go in my scrapbook here. This is me registering to vote. My mom, Alice Serafian, was the president of the San Leandro chapter of the League of Women Voters. And on my birthday, my mom took me down to register to vote, captured forever with my feathered hair. Yeah, so, that's amazing. Thank though. you very much. So there you go. So there's my prop. Registered about. My first time voting was in the 2016 presidential elections. Just a couple of years after I became a citizen for the first time and I was naturalized, so I was very happy and I really enjoyed that. Oh my God, I can make a difference. When I became eligible to vote, it was such a huge deal for me. My friends came with me to the polling station and there's a photo of me holding those, those little slips of paper because I was so happy. So yeah, it was definitely memorable. I'm sure I tear up a little bit. I think the, the 100 year anniversary of the 19th Amendment is awesome. However, I wish that number were bigger. It's a lot smaller than like the founding of the United States. It's sort of shocking it was ever a thing that women couldn't vote. It's only been 100 years? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Democracy was a very limited term and the fact that everybody could vote wasn't everybody could vote. The legal definition is you may not be denied your right to vote because of your sex. That might not necessarily protect a trans woman or potentially a non-binary person. I think it's important to note that until 1965, women of color were not able to vote. So I think that it's really important to remember that. My grandmother, her grandmother, that was something that didn't apply to her at the time. I take a lot of pride in how far we've come because I know a couple generations ago, I might not have that same right to be able to vote. I think our right to vote came a little bit later, but it is a huge stepping stone and something so wonderful. It's a privilege for us as a Filipino American and as a Korean American to have. It makes me feel like I need to get stronger in being able to continue the fight. Because as a woman, especially my age, I've gotten to used to things that shouldn't be there, that needs to be changed. I think women will play a big role in the 2020 election. We have the power to decide what type of future that we want. This is our life. This is our life and our rights. Every vote counts. Every drop of water makes the ocean. All of these elections and these decisions that are made affect each and every one of us. Good change has been happening that I would have never imagined in my lifetime. This is your one opportunity, really, to make your voice known. The way that voting is most effective is when everyone is involved. Like, I was one of those people. Like, I didn't vote for a really long time. I thought politics didn't concern me, that the status quo was fine, that my rights were never in danger. Hope is our most valuable resource. To vote is to hope. The greatest way, I think, to, to encourage people to vote besides just saying get out and vote is offer your help. It's really important for white women to show up for minority women. Educate people of color in how to vote, where to vote. If we really care about this country and if we really care about the world, we need to just stay engaged. I think we've come a long way and there's still a long way to go. But we're powerful enough to do it. Exercise your right as a citizen and vote. It is your duty. Please go vote. Go vote. Go, go vote. Let's fan oi verin. Chi to piao. Bumoto ka. Let's go vote. Go, go vote. vote. Please vote. I'll drive you to the polls.